Criticade! Hey, what's up, fuckers? Welcome to the Criticade Criticast! Oh, episode... Wait, what episode? <laughs> uh, episode 7. Episode 7, motherfucker! Yeah. 7 fucking weeks! Idiots, why are you listening to this? <laughs> uh, according to the view count, they're not. At Shit. least the, the Assassin's Creed ones don't do well. That was a mistake. It was, yeah, it was long. It was a long, long, long series. <laughs> True. I mean, that. I, I enjoy shitting on Assassin's Creed, but mm-hmm. even I was getting. I I enjoy talking very, uh, very much about Assassin's Creed. Yeah, but yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. maybe the internet doesn't like that because <laughs> Assassin's Creed has lost all hype. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Although, let's talk about this, because I also noticed that you sent me a text for, for Origins. <laughs> yes, I sure did. I sent Jacob a text like five days ago, yeah. and he didn't respond, and I was mad at him. I didn't see it. Silently seething. I don't seething. know why. It just didn't, it, like, it never showed up. Oh, gotcha. So, I, I never got notified for it. Uh, hmm. But I did see the Origins one, and then I didn't respond for a very specific reason. Because you didn't think it was cool? I I think it's cool. I think it's good gameplay. Like Origins looks really neat. It looks neat. It's not Assassin's Creed though. It's That's like fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, but but there's a way to make Assassin's Creed good instead of just like changing it to a completely well, different game. The video I sent, <laughs> the video I sent you was only focusing on the combat. On the combat, yeah. Which is, but you know, I'm okay central. with the combat getting an entire overhaul. But whatever, uh, let's I not guess. talk about Assassin's Creed yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, we're done uh, with that. Oh, the views. Oh, shit. Jacob, can you see them dropping? Oh, God. Oh, pick them up. Pick them up. <laughs> They're catch negative. You, catch <laughs> uh, but how was, how was your week this week? Uh, I was really, really busy. Uh, I didn't have time to interact with many people on Twitter because I was just I was making yeah. plans with all of my people before I start college. Yeah. I was getting ready for college, buying supplies, getting yeah, yeah. a haircut, shit like that. So I've just been busy. I watched some wrestling. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that I, neat? I, uh, I watched a little bit of, uh, for you wrestling fans out there, Jake. Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Jake and only. Jake fan of the show. Uh, <laughs> we, I, I watched a little bit of, uh, of John Cena calling out Roman Reigns, mm. which made my fucking dick hard. Because <laughs> John Cena just tore this man a new asshole, which is great because Roman Reigns looks like a fucking snake. Nice. I was nice. also on marijuana while, while I watched it. Okay. Not. <laughs> not. I wasn't. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, I've heard that a lot of people hate John Cena actually. Like, oh, they not, do. not as much now, but because he was like he's like a Superman kind of. Oh thing. yeah, yeah. So, like people are tired of the shtick. Tired of the shtick, but even when he came out, people hated him because yeah. he was just like a goody two shoes who like That's beat fair. the fuck out of everyone. Uh, if you listen to audiences when he's coming out, his theme song is like. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but if you listen to like the, you you hear. John Cena sucks from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. getting ch- chanted over it so loud that you can hear it yeah, on the audio. Yeah, I know. It's really funny. It's real fun. But um, um, what did you do this week? <laughs> I did a lot. I worked. I edited. I did one giant project that took forever that I didn't think I was going to do for editing, which is coming out today as of this recording. Oh, bitches. shit. I think I know what it is. I watched half of it. Yeah, it's the best of. It's yeah, first. <laughs> I'm going to put that on fucking Facebook. Yeah. I'm going to put actually, that on fucking Twitter. It was it was funny. I, I <laughs> like I. I got to the point where I had seen the clips so many times where I was like, are we funny? I can't tell anymore. Like, I are these good we were clips? kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like we can't judge ourselves in general. Yeah, yeah. Because we've lived through it. We've seen the episodes. And then we're watching it again. And we're just like, I've lost all sense of, a, of the over whether this is funny or not. That's fair. Like, maybe it'll bring some traction to our Alice series and maybe. we'll get one up one view per episode. I'm only high. <laughs> Alice is funny though. Like it, people don't it watch is. it. It is. People it's... people who watch it like it's, it. My theory is that it's too dark and drab. And I'll yeah. talk to you the, about this off the podcast, but like I have ideas for series that aren't so yeah, let's get fucking right, happy. So, yeah, fucking happy series. Uh, I'm not saying that fun. we're canceling Alice or anything. No, but we're canceling. We're not. <laughs> I think we can finish it. Really? We, we're like one play session away. Are from we really finishing it? Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So might as well. I, yeah. Um. But yeah, I did. I did that. I I started playing. My new thing is I'm going through the Mass Effect series. Okay. I started that like a couple days ago. So I'm I'm going through Mass Effect One. How do you feel about it? Fucking loving it, man. It's, it's great. My big issue with Mass Effect One is you do one mission and then you go for a five hour Citadel section. Yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. that's like a huge game breaker. I, I guess see the thing is I had I had been told I had been prepped beforehand that uh-huh. Mass Effect is like 
an RPG. Yeah. And so I wasn't expecting it to be because I've played through Mass Effect two. Yes. Um, no, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. And I kind of like the the RPG feel of Mass Effect. I actually like the gameplay of Mass Effect one the most out of the entire it's, series. It's really good. I like driving around in the Mako. You fucking internet. I love I it. I think I, it's, it's really it's fun. Okay. It's not. It's not. That I think fun. it's floaty and weird, but I I kind of <laughs> love it. Like in a way. Uh, I guess. Does that make sense? Do you play? Um, you probably play with keyboard and mouse. Though. I bet it's easier to control with the controller. N- Oh, maybe it's easier to control with the controller. I don't know. I played it on I Xbox don't think it's that easy, time. but whatever. I've never controlled it on uh, PC, so who knows? <laughs> maybe it sucks. I also watched... Um, oh, shit. There was an anime. Th- no. No. I watched the Death Note movie. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's garbage. Did I talk about the Death yeah, Note movie? Yeah, last, on the last... I thought curtain. it was schlocky and entertaining. It's... I just hated it. Like... There was a lot that I couldn't separate too, where I'm just like, yeah, the anime, like the anime does it this way. But then again, I'm like, yeah, but the anime does it that way for a reason. Yeah, light is light is not even the same character. No, light they sucks are in this movie. Light different. is the biggest fucking pussy. He's the biggest pussy. My favorite part is he's when Ryuk appears, stupid. and he's like, and he's literally screaming like, ah! yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. So, so like, and, and there's like, it's riddled with plot holes. It is like. The, the the girl who's like threatening him is like I put your name in the death note you have to give me the book or so I can burn the page or you'll die and I'm like why doesn't he just burn the page yeah it doesn't what, really what matter who burns the page <laughs> what is stopping I, him I think it's like it's like she stole the page or something yeah but it's still his death note yeah there, there's a whole bunch of like rules and like as I'm watching it I'm like remembering all this shit that's coming back from death like watching mm-hmm. death note and I'm like well they changed all the rules they changed a lot of the rules which for, is for fine. no I, no because like the rules are very specific in death note for a reason yes like a lot of them make sense yes there's a couple that don't but like they're there to facilitate the story and to make make it like usable the rules make it seem like it's a real thing but you have to admit that Death Note Netflix was funny as shit. I, <laughs> I guess. It just made if me you hit sad. Me, if you were to hit me, that would be child abuse. <laughs> I'm saying, talking to his high school bully. Yeah. Imagine saying that to someone who's about to hit you in high school. I know. You'd get the fuck what kicked a out of you. Pussy. Like, that scene's supposed I'd to... I'd punch him. Yeah. <laughs> that scene's supposed to, like, establish him as, like, the smart guy. Like, yeah, if you punch me, you're technically assaulting me, so you'll go to jail. And it's like... That's not smart. You're just being like a fucking douchebag to someone who is going to hit you. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what did you <laughs> think of the angry. really unnecessary gore? Oh, it was it was funny. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's fucking funny. It, it was stupid because in in Death Note, like they die of heart attacks, pretty much, and yeah. like that's like unless you specify. I mean, you can make them die of anything, but, but in but this you movie, spe- yeah. this guy's like, ah, oh, fuck it, it's Final Destination. <laughs> Yeah, and they were visually really cool. Actually, I thought yeah, the death scenes were, were they cool. created a lot of it created a lot of cool shots, but it was just so unnecessary. The people were just squishy, squishy Eggman. Yeah, <laughs> they just exploded when anything touched them, and it was really weird and oh, funny. I did watch another anime, uh, what? like an a anime, not <laughs> not fucking Death Note. Um, Ghost in the Shell, the original oh, movie. Oh, I've been meaning to watch that. Oh my god, it was, what was really that? Oh. good. <laughs> Oh, I sound like I'm in an anime. <laughs> you did that, and I did. Oh my god, <laughs> that's what we sound like. We're the moaning bros. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Uh, yeah, it, it was really, it was really good. Like a lot of really good shots and a great story. And like, um, the, what prompted it was I watched Nerd Writer's video on Ghost in the Shell versus like gotcha. the the live the action Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, if you were to disaster. make a Ghost in the Shell movie, what famous female celebrity would you cast in Ghost of the Shell? I wouldn't. I, I'm so sick of like famous celebrities being cast in projects that I people agree. don't think are going to succeed. That's why I fucking like Power Rangers, bitch. Yeah. Because they cast a bunch of nobodies and they were all pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that didn't do great, did it? Uh, it, it, went, it did pretty <laughs> oh, did well. It? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, yeah, I still it, haven't seen it. It got what it projected. It, it kind of like fell under my radar. And but, merch like, sales were fucking sick for it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So it, sure. it did pretty well. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, um, do you so want to the, wanna get to the topic? Yeah. Sure. Let's let's get to the topic. I'm gonna pull something else up. All right. Uh. Well. So for for this idea, uh, I I was at I was at lunch with my cousin a few weeks ago. I was in Columbus, Ohio, <laughs> and uh, we were on who r slash who would win, and we just got into long winded discussions about who would win. So I'm gonna go through the top of the week, month, whatever I find, 
And there might be a few uh, pauses you're going to need to add out of this episode where I'm looking for answers. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, sure. That's fine. So, so uh, be aware of that. Yeah. If there's like, um, if there, <laughs> if there's some weird random jumps, uh, that's why. <laughs> okay. So I found the first one. This is, this one is request from my son, Elsa okay. versus a TIE fighter from Star Wars. Hmm, that's a toss-up, but <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give it to the fucking TIE fighter. Okay. One is a person, yeah. the other is a death machine. Well, if you watch Star Wars Rebels, they one on one TIE fighters all the fucking time. <laughs> I know, but that's a kid's show. It's, 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 fucking, it's not a kid's show. It it's aimed towards kids. It's not aimed. Yeah, it's, it's a kid's show like Steven Universe is a kid's show. I guess. Yeah, it has a I huge guess. adult following, but it's still aimed at kids. Okay, here's a classic one. Okay. Goku versus Superman. Uh there was a death match that they did on this one. Superman yeah, that was, fucking destroys. It was it was it was the uh the, the screw attack death battle. Yeah, yeah. And Super, Superman fucking But let's let's ha- let's have let's have a conversation about it. Okay, sure. Let's let's regurgitate our own opinions on the matter. Okay. Uh Superman would destroy Goku. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if, if those who aren't aware, Goku is the main character from Dragon Ball Z. He go- yeah. he's the one who goes, Ah Yeah. Everyone knows who Superman is. We're Americans. Yeah, Superman is like part of uh, Goku's pretty much part of the culture too. Pretty much, pretty much. I, I, I'm sure there's a few people out there who don't know who Goku yeah. is. Yeah. Um. So the main argument for Superman in, in this case is that Superman is Superman. He can like, like in the original movies when they don't understand science, he goes back through time by rotating the Earth the wrong way. Yeah. Like he awesome. Can, he can do some fucking messed up shit. He can move planets. Um. There's one comic that Alino told me about where Superboy. Like, lifts the planet and hits someone with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, there's there's a uh, there's a uh, a golden age Superman comic where he sneezes and a galaxy comes out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Superman is OP as shit, and I, like he's supposed to be that way. It's funny. Yeah, like, I, I I do like the effort in. Are, is that noise going to pick up on the? The cicadas? Yeah. Uh, maybe a so little bit. If you guys bit. hear cicadas, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, summer. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Who would win, Superman or a million cicadas? Uh, a million cicadas. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> He's uh, super hearing. Uh, they could annoy him to the point where he fair. fucking gives up. That's like, um, <laughs> fuck. That's who? like uh, one stick versus the Hulk. If he yeah. breaks it, it just becomes more sticks. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I feel like... It was a, a Marvel versus DC comic or something. Some yeah. superhero beat Superman by just clapping his head. Oh, nice. Okay. And they created a loud noise and he was just out. So, yeah. <laughs> People have, have beaten Superman by outwitting him and stuff. Yes. Goku is not that person, though. Yeah, Goku is not so. that smart. <laughs> Goku's pretty fucking... He's, he's okay. Like, he's, he's got good battle strats. He's, yeah, he's, he's clever enough. He's kind of fucking dumb a he's little bit. Pretty, yeah, he's kind of dumb. So, uh, most of the time, his thing... I mean, his thing is... Dragon Ball started off as like a martial arts a manga. Yeah. So it's like he can and it's fucking sick. Yeah, it's, it is. It's great. But he can like he punches really hard and and he shoots beams and yeah, he's an alien, but beyond that, it's really just he builds up his strength whereas Superman was born basically a god. Yeah, and he's pissed about it. And he, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's so fucking so, mad. <laughs> yeah. So Goku can never really reach that level. I mean, there's god mode Super Saiyan. Mhm. But I don't, it's not that You know what's strong. my favorite thing in any kind of like Superman anything? Yeah. Is at the end of a story arc, the end of like a story arc on a TV show or the end of a movie if they really earn it. Yeah. Superman just breaks. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking, like those videos yeah. of like, like Superman going fucking nuts on yeah, someone yeah. on YouTube. Give me rock fucking Dude, solid. The ending of the Justice League cartoon for the animated universe, yeah. where where Superman just like, you know what? Usually I have to hold back. Oh yeah, and he but I'm just gonna punch. fucking beat you, and he just destroys. <laughs> but, um, but Dark Apocalypse. Side wins. Uh, Dark Side, yeah. Dark Side wins. Dark Side wins after that clip. Dark Side wins. <laughs> Like, like not the, not in the series. No, he loses the, after. He well, yeah, he loses he, he loses, he yeah, loses he the overall Superman. battle, but he beats Superman. Yeah, which so makes what? me sad. I want <laughs> Superman just fucking destroy someone. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the reasoning for why Superman Superman kicks Goku's ass because Goku's whole thing is he just kind of like rushes into a battle and throws a bunch of fucking super waves or whatever punches and shit, and then his powers are kind of channeled a little bit by the sun. 
uh, like like when he when he uses his like spirit bomb and he's like, yeah, embrace the power of the sun, and he shoots a giant it's Sunny D sun. cannon. It's it's the oh, it's ev- the people's everyone, hope. Yeah, everyone whatever. on the planet gives him a little bit of their life force. When he raises his arms, he's like, oh, with the power of the sun or whatever. No, he oh, says, oh, people oh, of Earth, give me your power, and and they all give him like a little fraction of his power. It's it's the ultimate weenie deck move. But what? <laughs> Sorry, that's when, a Magic the Gathering thing. <laughs> I, I, it's kind of easy to assume what it is. Yeah. Uh, w- would would the people do that against Superman though? Like if Goku and Superman were fighting, would it the people give like him the power? It doesn't seem like they fucking know because like there's usually like a shot of a deer like grazing the forest, and then like a little bit of power comes out and gives so, it to it. So and he's like, Goku steals <laughs> life force every yeah time. a little bit, and then he's just like, okay, I'm gonna fuck you up with this. Or more often, he gives it to Krillin, and Krillin fucking misses. <laughs> <laughs> That's God what happens most of the time. <laughs> Krillin. <laughs> that actually happens in canon. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. It's, it's really Superman good. would easily be. Like, yeah, yeah. Superman, like. Unless, like, Goku, because there could be, like, a plot device thing where, like, Goku's like, oh, God, I'm fighting this really tough guy. What's this stone? And it's, like, kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> that, That'd be a thing that, that a Kira like Toriyama <laughs> would do for Dragon Ball Yeah, he Z. crashes into a mountain and there's just a, a there's re- just reserve like of one, kryptonite inside. Yeah. <laughs> but then then on uh, in in the screw attack death battle, yeah. they actually do run into a bunch of kryptonite. And oh, Goku's that's like, true. let's make this a fair fight. And that is something Goku would do. That That's true. Goku. So, is is pretty stupid that way. He's pretty stupid, but he's also it's really like he's honorable. honorable. Yeah, yeah. And it's it, like you know, he's he's the Japanese Superman. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he's he really he's is. honorable. He 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 reflects the warrior kind the of lifestyle of of Japan. It's it's and kind Superman of, is yeah. our our ideal, which is every you were power born were the powerful. Best. <laughs> <laughs> no one can ever be as powerful as you as if you were born into it. You're an alien, but you're white. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to America. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, okay, Munchkins know. from the Wizard of Oz yeah. or Oompa Loompas from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate <laughs> Factory? Well, Oompa Loompas, obviously. They're fucking strong as shit. I don't know about that. Um, well, Munchkins aren't... Okay, I'm... I'm gonna have to drop. <laughs> I'm gonna have to drop this right here. Yeah, Oompa Loompas are slaves who do work all day, yeah. and they're strong because they are constantly <laughs> working. Munchkins are just little pieces of shit who live in the fucking they're, lollipop world. See, the difference there though is um, Oompa Loompas. If you read the original, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, they're just like a tribe of people that Willy Wonka found. Yeah, they're not like that developed or anything. And there's not that many of them. Munchkins are an entire nation. You're Oz. right. They they have organization. They have a society. So, they, but they, they like can't they even stand to up to war, one woman. To one witch? That's different. <laughs> <laughs> she has magic powers and shit. It, it, it just if if you get like a million fucking small men and and are like. Hey, go beat up that one person. I'm sure no, they could just... No, no, that's like saying if you get a bunch of guys together and you fight one guy with an assault rifle, you'll be fine. <laughs> like, no. Well, you won't has... be fine, but you'll win. She shoots fireballs. Of course she terrorizes their nation. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to throw my hat into the the Munchkin ring. For you know, this I'm going to say I you actually yeah. <laughs> you've, you've changed my mind. <laughs> okay. Munchkins are Well, okay, do they have They're weapons? They're organized. Mm, that's true. They are. They're like mostly agrarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and I'm sure the 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 Oompa Loompas have tools. The Oompa Loompas do have tools. And we have to ask: Is Willy Wonka supplying the Oompa Loompas with weapons? Because if he is, then then the Munchkins are fucked. I would assume o- m- Willy Wonka's a madman. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume that Willy Wonka is unaware and they snuck out to fight the munchkins <laughs> and took everything that they could find to beat them. Okay. Well then I, I so you still... get fucking lolly sharpened lollipop yeah. swords and shit. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, I, you know what, but like the munchkins probably have like pitchforks and like <laughs> farmer's tools. That's and shit. fair. They, so like, I think, you know, I think that's uh, probably the munchkins. You're yeah, right. You're right. So. There's a lot of them. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not going to do that one because it, <laughs> so it, it can get political. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not really political in nature. Oh, fuck it. Never mind. I'm just going to stop talking about it. Yeah, if you want to sure. know what the question is, sure. message me on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Criticade on Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Criticade in general. By the way, go check out our Twitter. I have to start tweeting again. 
Oh I'm yeah, same here. Out of it. But like I I've just been working a lot. Every Gosh. single bullet in science fiction is condensed into a single bullet. <laughs> Who is the strongest it can kill? God. It could kill God. No, no, that's a stupid that that fucking bullet would be worthless. What really? Yeah, haven't you seen the the game theory on Bullet Bill and how there's such shit? Well, cuz the larger you make a bullet, you have to be able to fire it with enough power to make it go quickly. And it, it won't have the same Well, like, I would assume that you're shooting it out of a giant cannon. Okay, let, let's say you're shooting it out of a gun made for that bullet. Yeah. Even so, uh the pounds per square inch that it hits with won't be enough to pierce just about anything. So it would, but it's got times five piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, that doesn't even make sense. W- would like like a plasma pistol from Halo with yes. that bullet be fused in yes. with like the metal bullets from Call of Duty? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. No, I'm gonna say it can't kill pretty much anything. It could maybe kill like Galactus if there's like a big enough gun, <laughs> like something super big. Yeah, but slow. Fair, fair, fair. Well, yeah, probably Galactus. Me, like, probably Galactus, but, like, not... I mean, not even. Galactus fucking takes tons of damage and shit. I don't That's know. That's fair. I, I don't think the bullet would be that effective. Okay. what what? Who is the weakest character yeah. that could beat every single Super Smash Brothers character if they fought them one by one okay. in a row? One by one in a row. Hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, Probably Goku. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, I think you could get weaker than that. Uh, probably, because Krillin, I think Krillin could do it. No, Krillin's a pussy. No, Krillin could do it. Krillin's got, he's got the Destructo disc. It would, like, take everything, and he would probably die a lot, but he could do it. <laughs> He'd just keep getting resurrected yeah. over and over and over his, again. His smash ball is, like, Goku brings him the Dragon Balls and wishes him back to life. <laughs> maybe Yamcha? <laughs> oh, maybe. Yamcha is from, really from, weak, though. These are all from Dragon Ball Z, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Krillin... I don't know. Krillin's stronger than Yamcha. Yeah. I mean, they both die every arc. But. I'd say probably, like, Naruto, Shippuden, Naruto, without any buffs or anything. Right. So, like, not like not the god... Like, no Kyuubi mode. Yeah. No Sage mode. Yeah. Just, like... Just normal Naruto. Wait, wait. With with Wind Rasengan? Because cause if he has that, that's pretty powerful. I don't know what that is. Okay, so like, <laughs> so Naruto, Naruto. Uh, like halfway through the series, the the creator is just like, I'm gonna add elements to chakras because that makes sense. No, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah and That's so stupid. And it, uh, yeah, it pretty much goes away after that one arc. But like, he's like, oh, Naruto, you have wind chakra. That's really rare. And apparently, wind chakra can like sever chakra links. Was he fucking Ang? Kind of, yeah. I mean, that's... Well, yeah. A lot of heroes have the element of wind. Sonic is representative of wind. You're right. Aang is... Uh, Altair from Luke, Assassin's Creed, bringing Altair. that one back. Yeah, Altair is um, Luke Skywalker. I mean, it's in his fucking name. Like, that's that, That's just a classic trope of, like, heroes being associated with air. Because but, like, flying is beautiful. Yeah, so, like, Wind Rasengan basically destroys, like, this super powerful criminal in one hit. And then it, it basically never comes back. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> it's a, I mean, it sets up. It's like a, a win all things. button. Kind of. Yeah. It, like it sets up a couple things like people of the lightning nation are like, I shoot lightning because I have lightning chakra. But like, that's it. See, that's pretty dope, though. <laughs> what, about, gets weird, what about Sasuke man? who fires fire out of his mouth? Yeah, Does he's, he have he's fire? fire. Yeah, he has fire chakra basically, and and so like some of the chakras support the others. So like there's okay. one weird moment where yeah, there's one weird moment where Naruto's like, so my wind supports uh, supports Sasuke's fire. That must mean that I support Sasuke, Did but they he consumes fuck? me. No, they say that though, and it's like it's super dumb and gay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, we know we both know the answer of this one already. Okay. But just the title's really funny. Sure. Darth Vader versus John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, I mean, provided the fact that Darth Vader can't see him. <laughs> John Cena wins. John yeah. Cena wins every match. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena buries Darth Vader so he can't get a rising chance in the yeah. WWE. John, Darth Vader like tries to force choke him, but then he doesn't know where he is because he can't see him. <laughs> and then John Cena pins him. He makes like, his that's... force invisible, too. So he... <laughs> 
He has like the power of Palpatine. He hides himself. <laughs> John Cena's force power is turning invisible. Wait, okay. He can use this the is force. a better con- better a better question. <laughs> yeah. Darth Vader or John Cena if he was a Jedi Knight? John Cena still wins. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, John Cena wouldn't actually <laughs> win if he didn't have force powers. Yeah, he would. He's John Cena. He wins oh, every fight. <laughs> hold, on. <laughs> hold on. Let me see if John Cena it's like has saying any... Superman wouldn't win. Yeah, he of course he wins. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, rather than actually fight each other, Vader and Cena are attempting to drown each other's theme music with their own. <laughs> uh, Vader is strutting around menacingly as the Imperial March plays. Yeah. Cena is appearing and disappearing as his t- trumpets blare. His time is now, he claims. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That's a great who, fight. <laughs> so, so the cooler they look, uh, the the louder their theme music gets. Who wins? Okay, so it's not an actual fight. Yeah, it's just who who looks cooler with their theme music. Yeah, uh, definitely Darth Vader. That no, dude, John Cena looks. Are you, you kidding? You me? ever seen John Cena burst out of the fucking like no, no, like no. side of a, a wrestling? Darth like Vader just striding down a, a corridor with his lightsaber out. Dun 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 yeah. dun dun. John Cena sprints. Fucking awesome. John Cena sprints out of the entrance to the to the WWE arena. He's fucking jumping around. He's waving his hand in front of his face. And everyone's like, <laughs> da, 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 da. it looks like fucking so John cool. Cena sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, I, okay. So I'm I'm gonna say John Cena wins the fight, but Darth <laughs> Vader looks cool as fuck. God, I want John Cena to fight Vader with the lights everywhere. <laughs> What if that was the ending of Rogue One? Do you think Rogue One would be a good movie then? I think Rogue One's a fine movie. <laughs> it's not a great movie, but you know. Uh, do you think that John Cena's uh, invisibility powers extend to that of the lightsaber so he could throw it at Darth Vader and then make the saber go invisible? No, 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 no. How fucking I think the limit. Cool let's discuss be? the limitations of John Cena's invisibility power. Okay, okay. I, th- <laughs> I think that anything that he's waving in front of, like, like, his when he waves in front of his face, his body and clothes disappear. Okay, so his hand has so to be in front his of his hand face. Has to be, like, okay, okay. Whatever his hand is in front of, that's what goes invisible. Okay, so he turn anything invisible so long as as he's like waving at it. Okay, yeah. Uh, if he were so, to put his hand <laughs> in guess, front of Darth Vader's face, would Darth Vader get disoriented? I don't think so. I think you just turn invisible. John Cena doesn't get, you know. Uh, well, that's because he's used. To, say okay, John so, Cena is used. So to it, say true. you couldn't see your limbs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone puts their hand in front of your face. And then you turn invisible, and then but, they trip you. But but Darth Vader has Jedi training. Jedi's are used to not. You're looking. right. They they can so feel it. Can I, feel if you look at the, the case of uh, of Kanan and yeah. Star Wars Rebels, yeah. he's blind. And yeah. So, I definitely think that. Okay. Okay. John Cena w- wins that fight mm-hmm. with his invisibility powers. Well, but it, it so okay, and so, also because you know they decided it before. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You've fucked it. You've you've uh, you've destroyed the WWE. You've you've re- revealed oh, their secret. Oh God, no! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read the top comment on this thread. Yeah. John Cena takes this as the trumpets immediately drown out all conceivable noise in the universe in their grand maje- majesty to the point where every possible location in space time is filled with the sounds of John Cena. Oh God. Uh, and then a, a reply to that comment. I felt a great disturbance in the force. <laughs> As if millions of voices suddenly cried out. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Well, that's that. I really liked that question. I'm that really glad that we... we <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. All right. All right. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, let's talk to the audience. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Hey, audience. How you doing? What's up? How'd you like Game of Thrones? Did, did you comment? Did you comment if you like Game of Thrones. <laughs> comment if you like Game of Thrones. Hit me up on Twitter because I will talk at you about Game of Thrones for as long as possible. Harry Potter versus one Xenomorph from Aliens. Harry Potter. Really? Fuck yeah. He talk- no. He has fucking magic. What kind of fight is that? Yeah, but he can't sense a thing that's got stealth on him. Yeah, he can't. Okay, wait. Harry Potter as like what age? I'm I'm and, saying. And who does he like? If he's gotten training from Hermione, just different, just past, like Deathly Hollows, like Deathly oh, Hollows like, immediately ends. Okay, okay. And okay. Harry Potter, uh, uh, Dumbledore turns around and he's like, "I sense something in the castle." Uh, Dumbledore's, Dumbledore's not there. 
McGonagall's Spoilers! Like, Dumbledore's dead. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Uh, McGonagall <laughs> turns to Harry. She's like, there's something in Hogwarts. So-, and then, like, like the Xenomorph other, other mouth bursts out of her forehead, and she's dead. And Harry's like, oh, fuck! And then uh, and then all of the other people run away uh, Absolutely out of character. Absolutely, Harry wins. How is this even a question? Okay, so the abandoned halls of Hogwarts with all the fucking magic shit, yeah. with like, the magic staircase and everything. Yeah. Uh, versus a xenomorph. Versus one xenomorph. Yeah, of course Harry wins. Really? Easy. How the fuck easy. is that easy? Because they have sensor charms. They have barrier charms. They have invisibility charms. Harry has an invisibility cloak. Shit, he, you're right. He has a death spell. <laughs> <laughs> he has Crucio. He has fucking magic. Like he can, he can. He's like a fully trained wizard at that point. But he's also he's kind not of a, the smartest. Kind of a total pussy. No, he's not. No, he's not. Well, he's he's he's, he's canonically not a pussy, yeah. but he's he's kind of dumb. He's not dumb. Uh, battle wise, he's, he's not, not amazing. No, he's actually pretty good battle wise. Like they talk about, that's why he leads uh, Dumbledore's armies because he's good at defense against the dark arts. Shit. Yeah, but if if you were having a magic battle with Harry and you got close enough and you just punched him in the face, he'd be out. You can't get close enough. He has magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what if the xenomorph knew magic? Well, then you're just talking like <laughs> it's got you're a talking little, crazy. It's dog. got a little 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 <laughs> wand in its fucking three finger <laughs> hands. <laughs> no, because canonically, uh, only humans can use wands. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, they're they're the only ones who. So it's such a powerful sorcerer that it's mastered wandless magic. <laughs> Uh, fine. Yeah, basically, I mean, whoever you give magic to wins <laughs> yeah. the fight because it's fucking magic. Okay, so Harry Potter, but he has all the traits and he looks just like a xenomorph, <laughs> and the xenomorph, but it has all the traits and looks just like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so the xenomorph in Harry's body and Harry in the xenomorph's body. Basically. Yeah, but but they ha- but they have the same brains though. <laughs> okay, wait. So like. Like, so like the same intelligence? No, 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 no. Like, so the Xenomorph and Harry Potter switch bodies, and they have yeah. to kill each other. Yeah, so they Freaky Friday yeah. through each other's bodies. <laughs> Wait, no, this no Harry would still win Harry in the Xenomorph's body because, because the Xenomorph doesn't know any spells. Yeah, the Xenomorph would, like, try and bite him, and Harry would be like, the fuck is happening, and just kill him. You're right, you're right. And then be stuck in a Xenomorph body. <laughs> it's kind of hot, though. I don't agree. Not hot. I, don't, I didn't mean that. I don't agree. <laughs> I vehemently disagree. Uh, Pingu versus Caillou. What the fuck's Pingu? Well, you've never seen Pingu? Never mind. Scratch the question. I don't, who, yeah, I've never who, seen. Who's Pingu. a really? Who's a really? Uh, an, uh, Elmo versus Caillou. <laughs> uh, fucking. I'm guessing. <laughs> this is this is another tough one. Yeah. I'm guessing the kaiju. Caillou. Like, Kai, Caillou. Caillou. That's, that's where my confusion came from. I'm Elmo, thinking like wait, a twenty you, foot. You thought I thought it was like a twenty <laughs> foot tall monster versus Elmo. Jacob had a thinking session about who would win in a fight between a kaiju, like a Godzilla, or I was playing or, it for or laughs, Godzilla versus I thought, Elmo. It was a, uh, I thought it was a joke okay. fight. Godzilla versus Elmo. Who'd win? <laughs> Fucking Godzilla. Elmo, who cr- climb inside and destroy him from the inside. No. no. <laughs> if Elmo is bloodlusted. He's unstoppable. No. That's canon. Okay, so They've stated Caillou, it. the little bald piece of shit, versus, versus Elmo. Because Elmo, uh, Elmo no. doesn't have sharp teeth. He's He doesn't have any claws. He's a monster, but that doesn't he mean al- anything. He also doesn't have any organs or anything or any oh. vulnerabilities. Caillou it, looks like a frail kid with leukemia. That's fair. So, <laughs> I'm assuming that if I Elmo could probably take to, out Caillou. You probably, probably, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that like the fight is like just an Elmo doll, and then Caillou finds it, and he's a stupid little kid, so he like bites off one of the eyes and chokes on it. It dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so Elmo wins. <laughs> uh, is Caillou like the reverse Squirrel Girl, where he always loses no matter what? Ka- yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure. H- how does Caillou lose in a battle against <laughs> one ant? Uh, against one ant, not not a fire ant, no, or not anything. a fire. Sure, uh, just like a regular like carpenter ant, yeah, kind of thing. Okay, um, I, I'm gonna say he picks it up and and eats it, and then he it gets tears a it apart from the inside. Yeah, he gets a disease and he's immuno immunodeficient, so he dies immediately. Like 
Like he puts the ant in his mouth and dies instantly. Oh well, pretty much. <laughs> it's it's gonna be like like three days. He's like, gonna swell it's and it's gonna, gonna look be, uncomfortable. Yeah, and then the ants uh will have its ant buddies come and eat his body apart. Man, that's hardcore. Whatever, it's fucking fight. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Got to get, get a new one. Got to get a new yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Get a new, get a new fight. This is like Super Fight. This is like the card game. It's exactly fight. like Super yeah, Fight. Yeah, it just is. Uh, which is a great game. Go this was a great it. one that I had a good conversation about at this restaurant. Okay. So, so I, I, I'm coming to this question pre-prepared, and it's yeah. one of my favorites. Okay. Jackie Chan holding a baby versus Jackie Chan holding vases, but he doesn't want any trouble. Oh, oh, so like, so like the Jackie Chan holding the baby is like ready to fight. Yeah, but he's got he, a he's baby. ready to defend the baby, but Jackie Chan is holding the vases, but, but he doesn't, he doesn't want okay. any trouble. So it's, he's kind of like Jackie Chan adventure adventures. Jackie, we just kind of stumbles into just, it. Yeah, and he's just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I would like, say Jackie Chan with the vases because he doesn't want to break the vases. I, I'm assuming wanna, that's a suit. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing he doesn't. That's why he break doesn't want vases. any trouble. <laughs> yeah, and, and Jackie Chan obviously well, doesn't want to kill the baby. Right, right, but. But Jackie Chan with the baby is has to fight Jackie Chan with the vases. Yes. Like, he's, he wants to. Yes. Um, so I'd assume here's what would happen. Jackie sure. Chan with the baby would throw a couple of kicks, and other Jackie Chan would throw the vases <laughs> up in the air over just over the kicks <laughs> and land perfectly in his arms, all the while going like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, prob- that sounds right. Uh, but I think in the end, Jackie Chan, when he doesn't want any trouble, yeah. always wins. Yeah, I, you know what? I'd agree with that. Um, I'd agree with that basically because because if Jackie Chan loses the vases, mm-hmm. like like if say like Jackie Chan with the baby like accident like knocks the vase over, yeah. and like he's like, oh fuck, I've got one vase left. Now I'm gonna go full force Jackie Chan and fucking wreck. Yeah, he Jackie he gets Chan. mad because the other Jackie Chan breaks one of his breaks vases. One of his vases, and then he's like, oh fuck, and then he smashes the baby's face. He's like I have to end. pay for that. And yeah, kick yeah. Him. yeah, exactly. And do do you think do you think the baby would would be would no. win? Uh, the, the baby is the one who wins. The baby's the one who wins because he's also Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> and the From vases, when he was a baby. No, but one of the one of the brace, vases break open. There's a smaller, more fearsome Jackie Chan inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they all look at each other and they go, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then they kick ass. They yeah, like, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. Like sick flips and shit. Uh, I'd probably say Jackie Chan with the vases. Jackie Chan with the vases. Jackie yeah. Chan with the vases. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Jackie Chan in good graces. Yeah. Because Jackie Chan, when he's bumbling around, like in a like when he when he doesn't want to fight and he's like doing the comedy martial arts stuff, yeah. he always wins. He's he's like unstoppable. Yes. Yeah. Drake and Josh versus Sam and Carly from iCarly and Drake and Josh. I know nothing about any of those characters well drake and josh would win because uh josh is a (laughs) josh is like that episode of like like i'm talking about mid drake and josh josh so he's 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 a tubby little boy okay uh uh, and this is this is for the audience you guys yeah yeah uh i'd I'd assume it's like that episode of spongebob where flats is trying to beat up spongebob but he keeps punching him and it does no effect because he's a sponge I'd assume that's the same thing that would happen to Josh. No, that's not how human bodies work. <laughs> I assume that's how young Josh Peck's body works. I don't think so. He's just a human sponge. Josh, get back to us on that. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> Josh, if you want to, if you want to contest this point, please come on the podcast. Yeah, I, I'd on. really like to hear your your view on that. Yeah, we need an answer, so we want to yeah. get this down. All forty five presidents of the United States in a free for all with lightsabers. Oh, with lightsabers. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's Teddy Roosevelt. <sighs> Teddy Roosevelt's a fucking badass. Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt is a pretty big badass. But I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if there's anyone who could give Teddy would, a run for his money. Would, okay. So I don't think, I think people would be too big of pussies to hurt George Washington. Not pussies, but they uh, they clearly wouldn't want to. Mm-hmm. And George Washington's a badass too. Exactly. So I feel like George Washington would get an alliance together. And then he just fuck oh, him up. He'd like form a nation of presidents. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's an anime. <laughs> and then we just like, from now on, we're gonna be a channel that does lightsaber presidents. <laughs> That's our new show. Okay, let, let's let's do a couple one on one presidents. Nixon oh, like, versus uh, Kennedy. Oh, that's a good one. Well, Kennedy would win. K- uh, Kennedy. Obviously. Kennedy's younger. 
Yeah, and Kennedy was in the military too. Yeah, that's true. That's so, true. I, Nixon's yeah. just a Nixon's big just a old flabby pussy. dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think Nixon would win that at all. All right. Um. Let's let's Herbert Hoover versus <laughs> Calvin Coolidge. <laughs> wow, what a cool matchup. <laughs> Uh, I don't know anything. Two really obscure presidents. <laughs> I mean, Hoover's not that obscure. He's not that obscure. He's more obscure I, than Lincoln. Or I, I mean, Washington. we don't. I don't know anything about the physicality of either. <laughs> okay, Teddy Roosevelt versus George Washington. Oh man, that is one battle one. I would love to see. One. Um, probably Teddy because he's just. He's, he's I mean, he's fucking real wrestled tears and shit. He's real tough. But but the Washington's thing is, a bit smarter. Wa- yeah, Washington is like the tactical genius. Like he he'll get every fucking advantage out of that fight. That's true. So you know, I guess it depends when George Washington too, because okay. Teddy's a badass his whole life. You could pick him out of any spot. Like you could pick him out when he was like ten and be like, fight this dude, and he'd kill him. But like George Washington, his badassitude goes up as he gets older and older. Yeah. Oh yeah. So so peak. Mid Revolutionary War, George Washington. Okay. Versus Mid World War One, Teddy Roosevelt. Ooh, ooh, that's a good fight. That is a good fight. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Washington. You think so? Because, because uh, he's the underdog in that fight, but he's the underdog kid. I mean, he the, he pulled us out of the Revolutionary War, and he was the underdog in that too. You're right. So I'm I'm gonna I would place my bets on Washington. I I would. I'd it would probably be a say close Teddy. Fight. Yeah, it'd be a close fight. It'd be incredible it would be fun to watch i would uh, someone please animate that uh, george that washington and amazing. teddy roosevelt if you guys want to come on the podcast <laughs> yeah. defend your positions yeah yeah let's uh, nice. see so you could win <laughs> all right jacob yeah now it's time for you to make up one. Oh, to make up one? yeah make one up oh okay um make sure it's people that me and the audience they, they, know you <laughs> fucking weeb yeah i was gonna go straight to one piece <laughs> <laughs> but I really like One Piece. People know that. Yeah. yeah well, well f- fucking people know Zolo, right? That's like that's no. common. That's fucking that's common. That's not common. The dude with three swords. He has one in his mouth. He's like mm. a common knowledge kind no. of guy. No, okay. because because I think the, the let's knowledge. play uh, the let's play audience, especially our audience, is very young. They probably don't even know what One Piece is. That's not true at all. It's still fucking running. It's that's still huge. Fair, but it's not it's not huge in the way that say uh My Hero Academia is now or That's or true. That that's bigger. Something uh, cur- but, like Sword Art Online or Attack on Titan. Like they know Attack on Titan, but they wouldn't know I disagree. Like I'd say I, I think Luffy most is people probably. would Luffy's recognizable cuz he's the flagship, but like mm-hmm. Zolo's like the most popular character. So I I would say that people know I mean him. I know Zolo. I thought Zolo was the coolest shit when I was a kid, it's but fucking badass. I don't know. I don't if you, if you guys know, know who Zolo is, please yeah, put please it in like, put in the comments <laughs> below. I I, I want to know. Yeah, but I'll stay away from anime and stuff. Yeah, um, good 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 idea. Uh, you know what? I'll probably try and stick to video games. That's smart. So how about uh um, let's go with Link, okay? Because he's like an all around like he, he could fight anything. Uh, versus. Pick some from not Nintendo. Oh, well, I was playing Mass Effect. Let's do Commander Shepard. Link versus Commander Shepard? Yeah. All right. So for those who don't know wait, Mass wait. Effect that well, uh, Commander Shepard is like... The main character. He, he's like the, the, the Star Trek captain, pretty well, much, of the crew. Yeah. He or she, because it's pretty flexible. Oh, yeah. Sorry, like I, played as, I played as a boy, yeah, yeah. and that's it's permanently <laughs> ingrained in my mind. Yeah. Uh, it's like a you can pick them, but there's like some things that always remain the same for the character. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. But like... um. Yeah, basically like like Captain Kirk, but like on steroids. Like also a battle kind of uh, dude. Are you do, are you doing like soldier class? Yeah, soldier class. Let's okay. let's do that. So so That's he's, not what I'm playing. He's got an <laughs> assault rifle. He's got a shotgun. He's got a pistol. He's got a laser gun. Yes, but also combat armor, shielding. Yeah. Uh, he has those yeah, steely things. No, no biotics. No but biotics. He, I mean, but he still has the omni tool. Okay, because everyone has the omni. That's like a sword thing that you can use. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a, it's just like a command thing that goes on your arm that can like heal you and heal you like, or turn into a sword thing in the later game. I, in the later game, yeah, whatever. Are, are, are we not doing the sword thing? <laughs> you, you can. Okay, no, because it'd be fucking sick if if Link was swinging sure. his matches over okay. a fucking laser sure, sure, sword. Sure. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna pick uh because he's used to fighting tech, Breath of the Wild Link. Okay, so pussy whose weapons break every three seconds and dies like a bitch all the time. That's not true at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, wait, end game. Fucking yeah, end game. Okay, okay. No, I'm not gonna like put level one Commander <laughs> Shepard versus level one Link. What the fuck would that fight be? Uh it would be Commander Shepard shooting Link in the head and him dying instantly. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know that. Okay. Well, I'd say uh, Commander Shepard would win. He's got shields and guns and... But, but the bullets are based off of the mass effect. They, they don't... They don't f- they don't hurt you as much as say an explosion or as a uh, like a punch to the like they hurt about as much a punch to the face at the beginning and then at the end they get more and more powerful with more and more tech. Okay, so it's not like wait, it's so not wh- like a m- a- end game both characters. Or yeah, end game both characters, but like I-, I still think that Link has like end game Link for Breath of the Wild has those guardian shields. You're right. You're right. So he's got I, I think I think he's got a shield. chance. I'm not saying that he's going to win outright. I mean, and and he's got he's got a lot of good range. I mean, he's got those he's got, yeah. he's got those bombs that he could throw that do an inch of damage and, and <laughs> knock you off your feet. He and does have those. I mean, he can he can do stuff like freeze the environment. He can fucking stop time. He could stop. Oh, Shepherd. he can stop time. Yeah. I, for, I always forgot about that because yeah. I never used it. Oh, I love that. That was my favorite power. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he could stop Shepard and hit hit her or him as much as he wants, and then she fucking takes a bunch of damage, like. I think he's got a shot. I don't think he wins. No, I don't but think, I think he wins he, either. I think he does well. I think he does well. Okay. I mean, I mean, his shit. Even, even if he's doing real well, yeah, his shit still breaks real easy. I guess, but he's got a lot of weapons, and okay. he's got like giant shit that he can apparently hold easily. That's fair. So, you know, I, I think he, I think he's he does okay. Okay, he doesn't okay. win, but you know, oh, I'd, you I'd, know. I'd also say yeah, Commander Shepard wins. Yeah, just just because I feel like with enough bullets. Wait, are you talking about which Mass Effect game? Um, I was I was thinking more like two. More like two. Okay, so he has ammunition. It's not it's, infinite ammo. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I feel like Shepard has enough ammo, enough weapons that he could just... Or, or she, sorry. Or he or she. she. It's, yeah. it, I mean, you keep saying she on accident. I Because I'm he. playing as a girl right exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very subjective. It's, it's just based on what you played as. Really, yeah. C- um, kind of. Just, yeah, Shepard. Shepard, probably, okay. probably. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna do two video game characters. Yes, yeah, my sure. choice, my choice. Okay. Or maybe well, I'm not. Pull something up. Um, you think you think of one? Okay, okay. Uh, I want to do Luke Skywalker versus someone. He's not a video ooh, game character. Ooh, okay, no, so but, but people know him. Yeah, He's Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. You know, this was actually a Screw Attack Death Battle too, but I was really interested in it. Luke yeah. Skywalker. Uh, peak. Uh, not peak, but like uh, end of Return of the Jedi. Okay. Versus Harry Potter, Deathly Hollows. Okay. That's a good fight, right? It's a pretty good fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you think that Jedi Force powers could bounce? Like, if he Force pushed his magic spells, do you think he... Because there is a physicality to to magic in the Harry Potter universe. Yeah. You, you have to wave your wand the specific way. Do, do you think that with his Force powers, if, if say, Harry shot an Expelliarmus at him, yeah. uh, if Luke Force pushed it, could he shoot it back into him? No, I don't. I don't think he could do that. But I think he could block it with the lightsaber. Okay. I think the lightsaber would work against that. So he's got to strike the hilt he's, if he wants to disarm. Yeah. Luke. Okay. I I also think though that it depends on how fast Luke figures this out. This out because Luke isn't very like how. Like no, by the end of Return of the Jedi, Luke's pretty smart. Luke's pretty smart, but he's still not great at figuring things out. And, That's true. And, and my thing is. Luke would win that fight if he knew that he has to disrupt Harry's wand movements to stop his spells. Okay. If okay. he doesn't know that going in, Harry Harry can just expel her armus. Um, he can crucio if he has to, and fucking end him. But he if in a second if he thinks, I don't think he but, can end him in a but, second. He's fast, and and Luke yes. also has. But he doesn't know. technically has spells that anyone can that no one can yeah. disrupt. Yeah, but he doesn't know that Harry how Harry's powers work, and he doesn't know how to fight them effectively. And Harry can pretty much figure out, oh, force push is just magic. I know how to how to stop that. Kind okay, of thing. so I, I'm I would give it to Harry if if Luke doesn't know about magic first, like it doesn't know about Harry Potter magic first. Okay, so does does Harry know about the Force? Probably not, but I, I'm thinking that Harry can figure it out faster. Uh, do, do you think that seeing someone perform what Harry would think is magic without yeah. a wand, yeah. do you think that would unnerve him? I, I think so, but Harry has a high quotient, shin, a high quotient of being unnerved. Like, it, it takes a lot to unnerve Harry. Okay, okay I mean, you're he, right. He fought, he fought Voldemort, so like he's used to like... I mean, but he almost pussied out of that. 
Yeah, but like, I mean, when when he was in his second year, he saw a basilisk, and his thing was, "Oh fuck, I gotta fight this." <laughs> like, That's fair. So, so He's I think, twelve year old. Yeah, I think it takes a lot to to kind of unnerve Harry. Okay. So I think like, oh shit, uh, wandless magic, and then he adapts quickly. Whereas Luke is like. Harry like brings something to life and he's like, Oh shit. What the fuck? And he's just kind of like, what if the force was magic Was magic or the magic was the force? <laughs> like, like Luke goes down. Cause he's trying to, he's trying to find new, uh, force wielders to, to recruit to his new Jedi Academy. Yeah. yeah. And he, so he finds earth in 1997. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, to, he goes to Hogwarts and he's like, my God, <laughs> these force wielders <laughs> and and like um like you do ha- holding a wand yeah. and and saying magic spell words is just like it's kind of like taking a placebo pill they just think <laughs> it's what channels the powers but they're just fucking idiots <laughs> i mean i guess it's i mean at the like it's all the same shit like yeah. story wise like oh look this thing that we can't explain happens like Ooh, it's magic. Uh, yeah. That's uh, it's probably because they have too many midichlorians. Just, oh, fucking midichlorians. <laughs> Fuck my ass, piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, George Lucas. Fuck. Have you seen the documentary, The People vs. George no, Lucas? No, I've wanted to for a while. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> All right, so what, what was your thing that you wanted so to do? So my thing is, um, we, and we were pretty up, upbeat and chipper, this this uh, Criticast, but like yeah. the, the last few... Like even when we were doing the fifty, like the forty first dates kind of thing, um, whenever we would end the Criticast, we wouldn't really be ready. Like we were using it as a warm up, but we wouldn't really be ready to we, do. We need to bring high energy. Into yeah, our we need to bring session. high energy and the comedy and the giggles and. The, hey, let's talk about our times. penises. How big's your penis, Jacob? My penis is too big. big. I can't see the room because your whole penis is engulfing me. Yeah, God help you if I get an erection. It, 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 you're always <laughs> naked and always hard. So. That's true. You, oh yeah, we're we're always naked and hard. Yeah, trust yeah, me. Sorry. Anytime I'm bad at a video game, it's because Jacob Jacob gets too hard and it covers him. my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes I, I'm going to admit to it. Sometimes I lean it over and kind of block your vision a little bit, <laughs> just to fuck, just with to me? fuck with you. But you know, it's not. Most and of it's time, not it's like on. you could punch it. It's like punching a brick wall. Yeah. Trust because me, I tried. He doesn't even notice. No, no, I don't even feel it. <laughs> so anyway, the thing I wanted to do was to do an improv game okay. uh, at the end of these Criticasts just to, to kind of, you know, get that us up. I really me. wanted to do one called Actor's Nightmare. Uh, is that the one where <laughs> where one player has a script and the other person doesn't? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And you can only use lines, like the one player with the script can only use lines from the play. Yeah. And the other one is just like, do you have say a set of lines? I don't have a set of well, lines. Well, we'll play that next week on the next Criticast. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it next week. And also, because um, you'll hear this, please give us suggestions for improv games and shit. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, sh- like, just on Twitter, just add us like a fucking Things that we can place. do orally. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but we, like, we can't also, m- move. <laughs> no, 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 no. But also, like, give us... Like a location, like a topic that yeah. you want to hear us do an improv you know, game. Physically, for. I can't move because I'm held Just down by Jacob's magnum rod. That's yeah, that's also true. Can I can I read you a text that I sent to my girlfriend yesterday? Sure. <laughs> Only give me a sec to find it. I'm kind of scared. Why did magnum rod remind you of that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robert's just like, oh, Magnum Rod. Oh, yeah, my girlfriend. Yeah. Hold, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Give me a sec. I gotta find it. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh. Okay, so she got an orange face mask, and I yeah. asked if it was Crash Bandicoot's jizz. Oh. Uh, and so I asked her if she would smash, and she said, no, Jesus. And I said, <laughs> I mean, he wears pants. He's got to be packing. And this is the text I want to read out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Mario potentially wears up to three layers of pants, parentheses, underpants, possibly regular pants, yeah. and overalls to cover up that fat, co- <laughs> fat cock of his. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, he, he, it's time for our weekly critic cast fan question. We're gonna ask you a question, and you're gonna have to answer in the comments. Wait, wait, wait. Before that, because I want to end with the fan question. Oh, okay, okay. One thing I forgot to mention during like the whole "What did you do this week?" that we have to talk about. Oh yeah, good game came out. Oh, did you watch it? I did. I kind of liked it. Did Did you watch only the first episode? I watched both. Okay, cool, cool. Because yeah, I kind of liked it too. I I didn't um, think it was amazing. Like it was just fine. I, I thought the second episode was really good. I thought the first episode was 
kind of subpar. That's that's I I fully agree. Yeah. So like I think the series has potential. I'm really sad that like the free episode that they're it's, giving away isn't is that the, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's the first episode that's not that great. I mean that that's kind of the thing with comedies. A lot of times the first episode yeah. isn't that great. Yeah. I mean that's just kind of a, an issue with the but medium. It's it's kind of exacerbated because Danny's not that great of an actor. No. And Aaron does okay, but there's yeah. Still Aaron's some, trying his best. Aaron's trying really hard. Um, but like it's it's got a good concept. It's got like funny bits and shit. But like uh, uh, for those who have seen Good Game episode two in the audience, yeah. the part where the guy is up at the board pointing at that word and screaming, "I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, say it! it! I'm gonna say it!" <laughs> <laughs> that made me fucking lose my mind the laughing. Part, the part where I lost it was uh, the the main one of the main characters' names is Ryland, which is like an unusual name. Yeah. But then one of the characters just like. Just calm down, Ryan. Ryan? You think my name is Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> I lost it's it. So <laughs> Aaron Aaron getting incredulous and angry is my favorite thing in the entire oh, yeah. world. Uh so uh, I can't yeah. wait to pirate the rest of the season. Next. <laughs> I pay for it. That's so a joke. I was I was kidding. I'm yeah. not actually gonna pirate it. Wink. Yeah. I'm I'm not gonna I can't afford two bread. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. Okay. I love you, Aaron. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I've heard so yeah, fan. What do you want to ask the fans? Oh yeah, the, the fan. fan question. How big do you think Mario's cock is? Leave, <laughs> leave the comment. Leave a comment I bet below. You had something real. <laughs> God damn. That it. is a real question. Uh, okay. You'll okay. find out our answers to the fan question next week. <laughs> yeah. Please listen to the next episode if you want to. If you want to know how big we think Mario's cock is. Yeah. 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 Bye, guys. <laughs> I love you guys. Hi, everybody. This is Robert Morvey from Criticade, and you're watching Disney Channel. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs>